<laughs> My sweet, watery death. At last, you've returned to me. How terribly I've missed you. It's been far too long. And I've been restless to catch sight of your oh-so-lovely face again. Ah. <sighs> oh, but those eyes, that glare. <laughs> you still hate me, don't you? Oh, that voice. I've missed it so dearly. Prettier than any song. No music could ever compare. Even if you were not a siren, there would be no sound that could captivate my mind so thoroughly as yours does. Your ear is understandable, but it still hurts me so. It breaks my heart that I must trick you into coming to the surface so I might communicate with you. But I remember how fond you were at the smell of my blood, so it seemed a good idea to tempt you forward by injuring myself as if I was your prey. A mistake on my end, but if that scowl means anything... Though, as I've said many times before, I'm more than pleased to shed blood for you. If you really wish to take a bite out of me, I'd gladly bear my skin for you. <laughs> that look of disgust is far from reassuring. And here I thought you found the scent of blood appealing. Then you mean that you do find my blood alluring? It's okay to say so, my love. I would never despise those vicious instincts of yours. I can never despise you for those most simple needs that you have. If anything, I'm quite flattered by the fact that you seem to be so drawn towards my blood. It excites me to know that there's a part of me that draws you in. Oh, those are such cruel words. To say that you feel disgusted at your hunger for my blood, it hurts me so. Must you say them with such venom? You'll leave my poor heart butchered and bruised. Yes, if I recall, but you must understand, I would never have done such a vile thing should I realize what you were, who you were. If I had known of your beauty, of how quickly you would capture my heart, I would have never been such a heartless beast to you. I never would have caught you in that net and dragged you onto my ship. I never would have even thought trying to capture you as a prize. I was a fool, and I know that now. I know it far too well. My love, please, I beg of you to listen to me for a brief moment and allow me to plead for your forgiveness. I swear I shall beg from now until eternity, should I need to. If it's my silence you want, then I will cut my tongue out. I would gladly take it from my mouth to keep you at my side. Compared to you, my tongue is nothing. If I couldn't use it to speak to you, it is meaningless. Just an insignificant piece of flesh that would be better tossed to the vultures. Every word, my love. Truly, if my silence would please you, then say so. My dagger is ready. And if I draw it and hold it to my tongue like so... Gods! My love, what was the purpose of that? Why did you find such a need to throw my dagger to the waves? 
I I'm sorry. I hadn't realized that would startle you. I thought you'd realized I've been holding it, as if it was how I'd drawn my blood from my arm. I swear I had no intention of using it to harm you. I'd never think of doing such a thing. If your concern was not about that, then what was it for? What was the cause of such a panic? Blood? <laughs> ah, yes. It appears that my tongue is bleeding, isn't it? Quite a bit, actually. I can't even keep it from spilling past my lips. <laughs> Though I suppose it is to be expected when one is holding a knife to their tongue and is suddenly ripped from their grasp. It seems quite firmly attached, I'm afraid. Your interference kept me from fulfilling my promise. My apologies. Because you wanted my silence, did you not? I'm so sorry, my love. I suppose that, in my haste to please you, I hadn't thought to make certain that it's what you wanted. Then what can I do to plead for your forgiveness? Please, I'll do anything, no matter the cost. I'll pay it. My life would be a small cost to have my last sight to be those hypnotic eyes, looking at me with something besides hatred. Of course, I could say those exact words a thousand times every day and I would forever mean them. With my entire heart, I mean them. To die by your hand would be a death I can only dream of. I would gladly let you tear your claws through my guts or rip my throat out with your sharpened teeth. <laughs> to know that I could please you at least once is all that I would need. Please, my beautiful death, I beg of you, name your price and you shall have it. <laughs> Surely you've realized the reason for my actions by now. <sighs> oh, my bloodthirsty death, my beautiful love, it is because I mean the words that I say. I love you beyond all reason. My heart aches for you, in any way that you would have it, whether you allow it to beat for you or rip it out from the cage of my ribs, it does not matter. My heart only aches to be yours, to exist in a way that pleases you. I ache to please you. To know that I am only causing you pain and anger is worse than any hell. That is why I'm so desperate to redeem myself to you, because I love you. I know, I know. I can't expect you to love me, even after all these years. Even after all the times I've begged for you to take your revenge out on me. There is nothing I can do to make up for the scars I've given you. All I can ever begin to hope for is that you would forgive me for what a fool I was thinking I could capture you and keep you on my ship. How wrong I was back then to think I could have you, to think that I could keep you. It would be easier to catch lightning in a bottle and set it adrift at sea. A beauty like yours is as wild and untamed as the sea. I could never hope to capture it. I could never hope to own it, to claim it as my own. I could only fall victim to it and be overwhelmed by it, to die at its hand, your hand. A death in any sense is all I can seek from a beauty like yours. A killing of the body or of the heart. I'd be thankful for either. Whichever you would give me, I would thank you for it. Of course, by the skies above and the seas below, I swear it. Tell me what you desire of me and it is yours. You... you want to get in my boat? 
No, no, I'm not denying you. I was simply surprised by your request. Here, allow me to help you. My love, your hands, you're touching me. Ah, right, my apologies. I'll remove my hands now. <clears throat> Again, I'm sorry for that. I hadn't meant to get distracted. Allow me to redirect my focus back to where it should be. What else is there that you desire from me? What will you allow me to do for you? By all means, of course, you can touch my face to your heart's satisfaction. Are you pleased with my face? Your fingers seem to linger on my lips the most. May I ask if there's something about them that interests you? May I ask if there's something about them that interests you? Ah, yes. The cut was not the shallowest one I've received, and I'm afraid that my tongue is still bleeding a fair bit. I apologize for getting my blood on your fingers. Careful. If you move your hands so close to your face, you might smear my blood on yourself. My love, what are you doing? You're... Oh, you wanted to taste my blood. <laughs> I hadn't expected you to truly want to taste my blood. Do you enjoy the taste of my life on your fingers? You want more? Of course, my love. You may take as much of my blood as you desire. How should you like it? How should I bleed for you? My tongue? What do you mean? Uh, that... that would be a kiss. Do you want to kiss me? Yes, by the gods, yes. Please, my love, please kiss me. Oh, shit. Have I died? And did you eat my heart so quick that I felt not even a second of pain? Because I swear that I've just felt heaven against my lips and between my hands. <laughs> I'm sorry, my love. I was confused for a moment there. I never thought I would be blessed enough to kiss you, and yet you've shocked me by giving me the greatest gift I could never even have begged you for. Did it please you, then? Did the taste of my blood from the source injury satisfy you? I'm beyond delighted to hear that. To earn your forgiveness is all I've wanted. Oh, of course not. I would never expect it to be so easy to earn my place in your good graces. Please tell me what else I can do. Of course, my love. For every journey I take, I shall spill my blood into the water, so you know when I leave. I will follow your song loyally, and I will allow you to take your pick of my crew to eat. I will be happy to help you satiate your hunger now and always. But, my love, if I may ask you for a favor... If I ever displease you again, if I ever anger or annoy you, I would like to have the same fate. Drown me and eat me. Turn the waters red with my blood and feast on every last part of me. Make me suffer for every wrongdoing by you. My love. As I have told you many times, I will only die happy if it is by your hand. I only want to serve you, even if it is in death. I shall never tire of that feeling. Your lips are the only thing I shall dream of for the rest of my days and nights, I swear it. <laughs> Though I must admit, they have 
not been absent from my thoughts prior to this. Even after this, when I lie in my bed, I will only be thinking of how lucky I am to have experienced it. The feeling of kissing you. <laughs> oh, my love, surely you don't mean that. Must we part ways already? <sighs> you're right. Of course you're right. I must go back to the ship before morning comes. But please, might I have another kiss before you go? Farewell, my love. My beautiful death. My heart aches already. And I know that I'll miss you desperately when morning comes. I shall be back to you as soon as the time will allow me. Until then, not a second shall pass that I do not think of you. I love you dearly. And your absence shall only make my heart grow fonder. <laughs>